Hello, my friends. May I present the IMI Galil? One hell of a weapon for Fallout 4. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out customization options. There are 14 different receivers, both automatic and semi-automatic. You have a choice of two different types of barrels. The other one's a little bit shorter than this one. Uh, there are three types of magazines. There's a 95-round drum mag, as well as this 35-round uh, standard mag. And there's also another standard mag that takes the material you select. So if you select like a woodland pattern, the magazine itself would be uh, of a woodland pattern. There are 22 custom sights. Uh, there's iron sights, your standard iron sights. The EOTech, all the fun ones, ACOGs. Uh, you get a 7X hunting scope, which I think is the highest level magnification you can get. Uh, there are also certain uh, reflex sights that have come with magnifier options. So you want to take note of those. Those are the uh, Comp M4, the Cobra. Is there another one here? Uh, and the uh, EOTech 552. There are four custom handguards with different materials. There's uh, plastic, wood, polymer, aluminum. Uh, there are a couple of railed options, which will allow you to uh, attach uh, any one of seven custom foregrips, as well as a flashlight or laser. And we have four different muzzle devices you can attach, a flash hider, muzzle brake, or two different suppressors. And there are... 15 different materials for your viewing pleasure. I myself went with the standard, I'm sort of a plain kind of guy. Alright, let's take it for a spin. Alright, let's check out the reload. Let's test it out on some super mutants. No need to make dinner. I'm not staying. The gun's pretty easy to control. I went with a uh, advanced receiver, semi-automatic, not fully automatic. With these standard mags, I feel like I have plenty of ammo before I have to reload. If I went fully automatic, I guess the 95 round drum mag would be the way to go. For sights, I chose the OKP7 uh, with the magnifier, and I, I like the magnifier a lot more than I thought I would. I'm assuming it's like 4X or something, I don't think it's said, but uh, it's, it's just enough. You know, it's good for a little bit of distance, um, but it's still awesome for up close and personal work and if you wanted to you could set this up for a, like a long range weapon with a like there was a 7x hunting scope and there's a, a 6x maybe a couple of 6x optics there as well there wasn't any option for a, a quick reload like a magazine that gives you a quick reload but you know, that's how it goes. Hello. Good night. But this, uh, it's an enjoyable weapon. Um, some of the optics look a little bulky, I guess, in profile when you're carrying it in, in first person here. But, uh, you know what, if it works for you, you go for it. I like a lower profile, like a uh, reflex sight, or I did roll with the iron sights for a while. And, uh, you know, there's a little bit of bobbing up and down when I was moving. You know, when you move, when you're advancing or, or retreating, and you're looking down the sights. So I felt that the reflex sight was a little better in this case. Yeah. But all in all, it's a very enjoyable weapon. The IMI Galil. You should certainly check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. If I find my way out of here.